What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with another installment of the birthday series where I go through my top five favorite performances from an actor or actress on their birthday. And today is Scarlett Johansson's birthday. So happy birthday, Scarlett Johansson. So coming in at number five for me is Olivia, her character from Christopher Nolan's The Prestige, the 2006 movie where she starred alongside Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. And she's really just a middleman in this movie in a sense, as she is pulling on the hearts of both Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. And I think she does a great job of playing that almost double agent in a way throughout this movie. She doesn't have a lot of lines. She's not even on screen that much, but she is a key part in this movie. And I like seeing her in it, especially her interactions with Christian Bale. Coming in at number four for me, this might get some dislikes, is going to be Nicole, her character from the movie Marriage Story, directed by Noah Baumbach. She starred alongside Adam Driver, who gives probably his best performance in that movie. But anyway, this is about Scarlett Johansson. She actually got nominated for an Oscar last year, Best Actress in a Leading Role, especially in the scene where her and Adam Driver are having it out. It's like a 10, 15 minute long scene of them just arguing and yelling at each other. She does a great job there. You really buy into her character, and you see things from her point of view as well as Adam Driver's point of view. That's something that Marriage Story does so well, as it shows the horrors of divorce and the fact that these two people love each other, but at the same time, they're cross-country and their relationship's falling apart, and she does such a great job of really breaking your heart and making you feel like this is a realistic situation. Coming in at number three for me is going to be Charlotte, her character from Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation. Of course, she stars alongside Bill Murray here, and this was essentially Scarlett Johansson's big break, I think, to where people really started to know her name. Uh, she's a lot younger than Bill Murray in the movie, but they have a great romantic chemistry. Bill Murray's character is almost having a midlife crisis, and uh, Scarlett Johansson's character is having a midlife crisis, but she's younger, and she's like, what life do I want for myself? So seeing their interaction is great, but her performance is very subtle. She's like quiet throughout this movie. She's very subdued. It's not like she's going all out like she does in Marriage Story. And I think Scarlett Johansson does a really good job here, as she does in most roles she has. Coming in at number two for me is going to be Rosie, her character from Jojo Rabbit, written and directed by Taika Waititi. She also got nominated for an Oscar in this movie, as she was nominated for Marriage Story and Lead Actress and Supporting Actress. She was nominated twice in 2019. It was kind of controversial, but I think she deserved the nomination in this more than Marriage Story because she plays JoJo's mother. Their relationship can't be beaten, especially when they're at the dinner table and they're playing music, talking about dancing. And then there's a scene that just rips your heart out in this movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but my goodness. So sad, beautifully shot, and even hinted at. I like the foreshadowing, but still, it's so tragic what happens throughout Jojo Rabbit as the movie's funny and it's also very dramatic and sad, but her performance and the relationship with her son is what really anchors it for me, and I think that's what puts this performance above the rest. She's doing a great accent, so that really adds to her performance. But coming in at number one for me is the performance that encompasses various movies, so it's almost cheating, but it's Black Widow, the character she plays in the MCU. Her first appearance came in Iron Man 2. She's in all the Avengers movies, Civil War. She even has a solo movie coming out, was supposed to come out this year, got pushed to next year. Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, is one of the original members of the Avengers, so that right there has a soft spot in my heart. I remember seeing the original Avengers film on the big screen. Same with Iron Man 2, and I was hooked in by her performance. She's just funny and so badass. She really is one of, if not my favorite, female superheroes in the entire MCU or DC movies, period. She's great. And this is her most iconic role. I think it always will be because, like I said, she has so many movies to play off of, but you get different versions of this character in Iron Man 2 as she's kind of the hot shot. You don't know she's Black Widow, and then when it's revealed she is, that's super cool. And then, of course, her relationship with the Avengers, her relationship with Steve in Winter Soldier. Um, of course, in Civil War, when she's kind of playing both sides for a little there, and then ultimately her sacrifice in Avengers Endgame can't be beaten. The acting there is phenomenal when her and Hawkeye are fighting over who should sacrifice themselves. It's hard to top. I mean, she is one of the best actors in the MCU, uh, and I love her as Black Widow. I can't wait for her solo movie. I really wish we got that this year. We would have seen it by now. Probably would have owned the Blu-ray by now, but it is what it is. I'll get to check that movie out eventually, and nothing will top Black Widow when it comes to my favorite, she could give a better performance. She probably has. Some of the ones I've listed are probably better performances, but when it comes to my favorites, Black Widow will always be that top spot. So yeah, that's going to do it for my top five favorite Scarlett Johansson performances. Definitely hit the like button. Comment your favorite Scarlett Johansson performances down below. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? What's your favorite and least favorite performance from Scarlett Johansson? I'd be interested to hear all that and more. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world. I've got a lot of content planned through November and December. Really excited for the rest of this year. The holidays are among us. Very exciting times. Uh, hope you all are doing well, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>